KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. And welcome back. Despite the cold snap we're currently in right now, fishing season is upon us, and we have Shannon Smith from the Missouri Department of Conservation here this morning to make sure you're fish fishing legally. How are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. So first of all, let's go ahead and talk about permits. You need a permit in order to go fish at the ponds and lakes, correct? You do. You need a uh, fishing permit or license okay. to fish waters of the state okay. or public waters. And uh, are there different types of permits when we talk about permits, or is there just one generic one you can get for the fish when you go fishing? There are different types of permits. Um, of course, there's the resident mm -hmm. fishing permit. It is $12. Okay. The non-resident fishing permit is $42. Okay. These permits are good from March 1st through the end of February okay. each year. And uh, you can also get a daily permit for seven dollars which is good for one day okay if the, so it's it's better to get the one that's for twelve dollars because it lasts a little longer than just the daily one if you're a resident you mm -hmm. probably just want to get the annual uh, permit okay. and they're good for mm -hmm. for one full year correct they, they are valid from march 1st through february okay. typically february 28 okay. 29 depending okay. on and they need to have this year. permit with them when they're fishing, just in case a Missouri Conservation Department official comes and asks by any means, here's your, you can that, show them the permit. That is correct. Okay. You are required to carry that on your person. Okay. And now um, let's talk about um, the limit of fish that you can catch per day. There is a limit, correct? There, there are daily limits okay. uh, for all species of fish. Um, typically in this area, we're you know, talking about bass, channel catfish, crappie, bluegill. Um, the statewide limits for crappie is 30, uh, channel cat 10, bass 6. Now, if you're fishing at a, um, a cap lake, say for example, the Lancaster City Lake, I'm the mm -hmm. agent up in Schuyler County, uh, then the, uh, the limits vary somewhat. You need to check the regulations and, and make sure that uh, you're following the uh, the regulations for that particular and do you body have, of water. Do you have any uh, fines that go along with this? If if, if you yourself go and, and kind of just check up on some people, to be like, hey, just making sure, you know, you have your permit and everything. Sure. Are there sure. fines that people can get slapped oh, with? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, when we're out checking uh, anglers, we're checking for fishing permits, we're checking uh, your daily limits. And, and yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're fishing without a license or permit, you're probably looking at a citation. Okay, for. now let's talk about regulation. So there's popular shows that we see on TV all the time about, you know, people going out noodling, which is out diving for fish. I don't know how to yeah. explain that, uh, but it's not legal here in the state of Missouri. That is correct. Noodling is is uh, is hand fishing, okay. typically for catfish, uh, primarily the flathead catfish. And it is legal in some of the other states. Uh, the, the TV series that mm -hmm. you're seeing, I believe, takes place in Oklahoma. Okay. Um, here in Missouri, it, it is illegal. Okay. And the reason why it's illegal is typically you're pulling the male flathead mm -hmm. off of the nest. The female uh. lays the eggs. The male uh, guards the eggs and, and fans the eggs. And they're usually pulling the male off uh, of that nest. So once they do that, that egg mass dies ah. here in Missouri. Uh, we do not allow that. Okay. Um, there are people that, that do it, mm -hmm. and uh, we do catch a few, mm -hmm. and they 13. typically get ticketed. All right, and we have okay. run some stories like that, so make sure you don't do that because you will get caught and you will get cited and possibly, you know, face some jail time as well. Now let's right. talk about uh, properly measuring uh, your fish. Why okay. do we, what's the point of that? Okay, some species of fish have uh, uh, length limits. Okay. Okay, for example, up at the Lancaster City Lake, the largemouth bass uh, between 12 and 15 inches must be returned to the waters. Uh, fisheries biologists um, uh, tell us that uh, that size of bass are the uh, breeding population, so we want to protect that. Interesting. We want to protect that uh, size fish. Um, nothing fancy. This is just a ruler that you can get at most sporting goods stores. Okay. Uh, I believe we got this at, at Walmart. Um, whenever you measure a fish, you want to lay it uh, flat on the rule. 
Okay. Uh, on the ruler. Okay. If you're using a tape measure, you want to mm -hmm. lay it flat okay. and, and lay the fish down. And that's how you'll measure. Right, right. Okay. Right. You'll, I got it. You'll close the mouth, you'll close the tail. And that's how you measure it. Interesting. Okay. So, and we can find all of these rules and regulations on the website at Missouri Department of Conservation, correct? You can. Um, I recommend that you pick up a wildlife code book. Okay. All of the fishing regulations, all of the hunting regulations are found in these. You can also pick up one of these easy to read pamphlets. Okay. Um, it will actually, uh, there's a, a couple pages in there that show you how to measure fish. Okay. And um, there's also some pictures of fish if you need to identify a fish that you may not know for sure what it is. All right. You can use that. Well, thank you so much for your time. And what we'll do is we'll post all of this information on our website at heartlandconnection.com as well okay. as Missouri Department of Conservation's website as well. Thanks again for coming in. Thank you very much. And we'll be for right sure. back.